I've only been here in Scotland for a few days, but I already got to experience a few things. I got to photograph some castles, I saw beautiful rainbows at the coast, I even tried to climb a little mountain in some nasty weather, and I made first contact with the native population. There are midges, there are midges everywhere. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite images I've made here so far, how I made them, and at the end, I'm gonna leave you with the beautiful hike that I did to the top, or almost to the top, of Loch Nagar in the Cairngorms National Park. So, even though most of the photography that I do during road trips like this one ends up happening in random spots like this one, well, I do have a rough plan that I try to follow. The idea for my first days in Scotland was to spend my time in the south and east parts of the country while I was getting used to the rhythm of being on the road, while I was getting used to the country, and also trying to time the crowds and the midges in the more popular areas. This doesn't mean that there aren't beautiful spots in the east and the south, there are, and I tried to visit them. The first one was Bass Rock. It is a pretty nice looking island and the lighthouse is just a cherry on top. But even with the light on my side, I didn't like the photos I was getting of it by itself. So I started to look for something to complement the island in the frame. The first thing I tried was some rocks, which made it already much more interesting. But why limit yourself to some random rocks when you can use a whole castle? That's why I went to Tantalon Castle, not so much for the structure itself, but to play with its shapes and the island in the same image. And that one turned out to be my favorite of Bass Rock. Since I was already at the castle and paid for it, I went on a quick tour. It must have been a majestic castle back in the day, but I couldn't find anything really interesting to photograph there, except for some ruins I saw in the yard. Farther north, along the eastern coast of Scotland, there is another rock called Bow Fiddle Rock. Now, that's some pretty cool looking arch. The day I arrived there, I was also blessed with some very good light, but the tide was low and it was revealing more rocks than I wanted to capture. I tried from all angles, but I couldn't get anything. Then it started to rain, it didn't last long, but it created a beautiful rainbow behind the rock that would have been the dream for any color photographer. Yes, rainbows can be cool in black and white as well, but the light was just not very good at that time. I kept exploring around and made a few photographs of other rocks, and at that point the tide was a little bit higher and most of the smaller rocks were already submerged. So after waiting out another sudden shower while I enjoyed my dinner in the car, I was finally able to make an image that I was very happy with of Bow Fiddle Rock. Next on the list was Hermitage Castle, a little bit farther south in the Scottish Borders region. This one had a very strong Game of Thrones vibe to it. I was, I was only able to make one image that I liked from there, but I really, really love the place, my favorite castle so far.
and then it was time to head inland. I started to explore some of the lakes, some of the locks. I had some beautiful weather. It was cloudy and there was no wind that made for still water and that made for beautiful reflections and beautiful conditions for photography. But it also made for very, very midgy conditions. There are midges, there are midges everywhere. And finally I made it to the King Gorms National Park. Thankfully there was a little breeze there that kept the bugs away and I got to explore around a little bit to go for a little walk and to witness for the first time those magical Scottish mountains. But the real action happened the next day when I tried to climb to the top of Loch Nagar. I leave you now with this hike. Today is a very fine day for hiking. I love the temperature. It's raining a little bit and it is uh, too windy. But other than that, I, I like it. I'm gonna go to the top of that mountain that you can't see right now. It's called Loch Nagar, I believe. And uh, I hope it clears out a little bit so I get uh, the, uh, the view from up there, but let's do it. It is beautiful here, really, really beautiful.
I'm almost to the top. I stop here behind these rocks to get some relief from the wind and the rain. I've been getting some glimpses of the view over there. There's a beautiful mountain there and the uh, lock, the lake, is down there. Hopefully it clears a little bit more once I get up there. Look at that. Do you see the mountains? I had to turn around. I was so, so close, but I couldn't. It's uh, raining a lot. I was much worse up there. It was a full-blown blizzard. My cameras are very wet. I am totally soaked. There is no view to enjoy. I can't even have a snack and I'm getting cold. So I'm heading back. And now the sun wants to come out. Whew. I'm glad it's not raining anymore. I'm glad it's kind of sunny. But I, uh, I'm not going up there again. <laughs> I'm tired. Well, maybe the uh, mountain was feeling bad for not showing me the view. Or it just wanted to show off. But I got the view of Loch Navar And the uh, valley over there. It's sunny somewhere over there now i hear parking lot trailhead over there still a long way to go it is rainy it is windy and it's sunny it's all the things at the same time That was a pretty cool hike, even though it didn't yield any uh, images that I love. But uh, the place is beautiful, the weather was crazy, I had a great time. I've uh, since uh, gone on a couple more hikes and there are many more that I want to do. Many more places to see, many more images to make here in Scotland. So I hope to see you in the next video from this beautiful place. Thank you so much for watching.